Hey there, Kim Barrow here. Um, I just completed day two of Pio, and we started with a workout called Define Lower Body. So we're going through some lower body exercises. Um, one of the things first time through that really struck me is how well um, all of the exercises are set up. I know a lot of times when you're doing yoga type um, poses and whatnot, it's really hard to see the instructor to know what you're supposed to be doing, so you end up, you know, in down dog with your body like this or your head <laughs> up in the air with a crook in your neck. Um, and Shalene really is taking a lot of time in the workouts that are in the beginning of this program to talk very slowly and she'll tell you, don't look up here, just listen to me, explain to you what you're doing. So I, I just really caution everybody to listen, um, to make sure that you're in a place where there's not a lot going around so you can really listen to her cues, listen to how she's setting up your body. She's gonna help you make little tiny changes to your alignment that are gonna change the workout and actually make it effective. It's only a 20 minute um, workout, this defined lower body workout, so make sure that you're paying attention and you're trying to get the most out of it. So one of them, um, a couple things that I wanted to point out is when you're in a plank, one of the cues that I like that she uses, so your hands are right underneath your shoulders, feet are straight back, pushing back with your heels, make sure your hips are out of the air, and she talks about having weight through your hands and your feet, so you're not Lots of people end up doing this kind of thing in their planks and all of their weights in their hands through their shoulders. So really take some time to settle into your plank, spreading your toes out in the back. You can even squeeze your thighs together if that helps. Send your heels back, pull up through your thighs, and press your hands into the ground as you reach away. So you're kind of trying to create this like this sort of motion, pushing into the ground, reaching up with your abdominals, really finding some strength in the middle there, okay? Um, and then we're gonna, I'm just going to go through one of the down dog series. So you're going to push up into down dog. So when we're in down dog, hips are way up in the air, pressing through the hands, shoulders away from the ears, and your head is right between your arms there. You're going to reach up. She gives you two things for your down dog splits. So you're going to take your legs straight up. And I know my toe foot just went out of the frame there, but your toes are down, okay? She talks about it being a closed hip. So you're not doing this at all. Your hips are still in the same position they are if you were in on just on hands and knees. So hip bones pointing down to the ground. You're just lifting that leg up, okay? So notice my hips did not open at all. Super duper important. Then she's going to have you rotate your hip, point your toe, and lift up just a little bit higher, pushing that leg up as high as you can. Also, what she does cue is see how my shoulder opened up as well? Keep the shoulder down. It's only opening through your hip. Just like so. Then we're going to take that back leg through your arms into pigeon. Okay, so I'm going to turn forward towards you on this. Pigeon is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite poses. So we're reaching up, reaching through to pigeon. Now a couple things about pigeon. You're going to reach back with your toes in the back, keeping this hip to roll down, pointing towards the ground there. And then you want some space between your heel and your hip. You don't want to have your foot like tucked into your hip there, okay? Just wanna have a little bit of space there. Nice strong foot here. Roll up through the shoulders and reach back with that back leg. And then she keeps you dynamically moving through these. This isn't like a regular yoga class where you're gonna hold this for 32 counts. No, no, you're gonna roll back through that leg and come right back into down dog and go through the whole series again. Closed hip, open hip, right through pigeon. That right there is the Pio difference. It's dynamic, it's moving. My heart rate is up, um, I'm a little bit winded. If you really push through all these moves, the way that she keeps, sets them up, you're gonna be sweating, you're gonna get a really great workout. Now, at the end of this um, 20 minute defined lower body workout, um, if you look at your calendar, you'll see that's all that's on for the second day. And then tomorrow you're supposed to do define upper body. But Shalene notes at the end of this, if you wanna go straight through to define upper body, go for it. So I went ahead and did that. So I went through the upper body workout as well, and it was just under 20 minutes, so I still got a full body workout in in under 40 minutes, which is totally doable for most of us. Um, so I wanna go through a couple of the things with the upper body. And when she says upper body, everybody will be so happy to know, you get a lot of core. I know people get really wanna be working that core, um, and you're gonna be doing that you know, inadvertently through all these exercises, but I know we all like to feel that good burn in the midsection. Um, so we're going to talk about a side plank series that she does in here. She sets it up really well, so I don't feel like I need to go through a lot of modifications or cues or anything because she obviously 
is a master and she does it. So you set up a regular plank, turn that front leg forward, reaching up. Again, I'm going to let Shalene set you up perfectly for this. And then she's going to have you do a twist. So you're going to reach through, pike your hips up, reach it through there, and then come right back up. Now, one thing that I noticed they were doing that helped me is you're going to, this, this, the stable arm is going to push back, much like down dog. Okay? So your head is going to rotate, reaching your hips up as high as you can. Push, 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 and then come right back up. Lots of oblique there, lots of shoulder. My whole upper body was warm and worked. Really excited about the, um, the remainder of this program. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you want a little bit of help with your PIO journey, I would love to help you out. Talk to you tomorrow.